Hey guys, so I'm doing another video on uh, Windows 10 virus removal. A lot of people are already asking me is there a virus removal for Windows 10 and yep, there's one out. So I'm going uh, to show you guys how to remove the viruses uh, and also maintain. You can also use this tool to maintain your computer as well. Um, so uh, as you can see right here, I'm infected. I got this PC speed up. I got redirecting viruses. My internet's not working. So like all this can... Uh, be the cause of your issue. So let, so uh, first, let me just close out some of these windows. Um, just give me a sec. Click here. All right. So this is that PC speed up I was talking about. That we want to get rid of. Uh, this is definitely fake. Um, so what we want to do is um, first let's uh, check our processes. So right click on your taskbar and then hit task manager and here you want to look for any suspicious uh, processes that you think uh, that is an infection just be very careful not to delete windows uh, if you don't know how to do this just skip over this part but uh, usually you want to just end processes that look suspicious because uh, those are viruses that are running in the background so yeah, I'm gonna delete the PC speed up and it's gonna still stay because it's still in the registry we're going to go to the control panel and then uh, after that we're going to go to internet options which is right here and then go to connections and then land settings and then you want to uncheck that box and hit OK and OK now people were asking me about that um, if you don't have it checked off don't worry about it so let's go to Firefox all right, you see how this is coming up with some bogus pages. Try to close out the windows. You want to go to filehippo.com, then click click on CC Cleaner up top, C Cleaner up top. So click C Cleaner. All right, you're still gonna get some bogus pop-ups. That's all right. Just close out of it. Hit Download Latest Version. All right, so here it's hit Save File. Click that, and then you want to click this, set up. All right, let's hit next, install, and just uncheck this uh, read view thing. Uh, so hit finish, and we're going to go over here, hit run cleaner, hit OK. And as that's running, we're going to download Malwarebytes, our favorite program so just type M A L alright and then hit enter and then you see malware bytes come up in the list uh, so you wanna hit download and download latest version alright hit save file wait for it to download now click the arrow pointing down Click the setup file. So we're going to hit run. All right, hit OK. Make sure it's in English or whatever language you prefer. All right, next. Agree. Next. Next. Next, next, next. Install. All right. Only thing you have to do is really uncheck the enable free uh, trial for premium. We don't need that. Um, we're fine. So I'm gonna uncheck it and then finish. All right. Let's make sure it gets the latest updates. All right, so it says today's date, which is good. And then just click scan now. And we'll go back to CCleaner. It wants to close out Firefox, so just hit yes, because it has to clean up the temporary files and it can't do it when it's open. So now CCleaner is going to go through its thing. So now CCleaner is done. So what you want to do is go to registry, hit scan, 
They'll find all the corrupted registries in the background and stuff like that. All right, so we want to fix this these issues. So we're going to do fix selected issues right here on the side. No. Yes. Okay. Close. And that's it for C Cleaner. So let's close that out. And now we're going to have malware bytes scan. Um, so I'm about to fast forward it. Um, yours, depending on how fast your computer is, uh, it varies. So uh, I'm going to fast forward and then we're going to go to the end. So we'll be right back. All right. So it's on this last step now. And now you see. I have a lot of infections here, so you want to hit remove selected. Wait for this to fill up, all right? And then what you want to do is you want to select finish. Now, please restart your computer um, once it, that happens. Uh, I'm going to select no. So hit finish. Your sh computer should restart, and once you reboot, um, we're gonna we're gonna open up Firefox again. So once we're in Firefox, uh, we're going to go to google.com. All right. So now what we're going to type is Hitman Pro 64 bit. But I'm just going to type 64. All right. And then we're going to select the first option up top. All right. If you have 32 bit, select 30. 32 bit. I have 64 bit, so I'm going to select 64 bit. All right, save file. Takes a little to download. All right, once it's download, click it. All right, so we want to hit next. Uh, we're going to hit no, and then we're going to have this scan. Uh, same thing, I'm going uh, to just fast forward this because um, it does take a little bit, probably like five minutes, ten minutes, So uh, depending on your speed of your computer. So I'll be right back when it's done. So now that we're back, uh, you see I have infections as well. So I'm hit next, and it's going to start removing all the Trojans and uh, Adware that it found because uh, we don't want these things in the computer. Um, Alright, so once that's done, what you want to do is you want to select Next and then yes, you want to reboot your computer um, because uh, you want it to do the changes uh, so it can process the right things. I mean I know this video is a lot of rebooting, but we need to reboot so the steps can, so the computer can run smoothly. You, you don't want to do everything at once. So uh, I'm going to hit reboot. So please just reboot the computer at this time. Um, I'm going to hit no since I already did this before. So you guys should definitely reboot the computer. All right, so let's go back to our browser. Um, type in Google again. All right. This time, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to search for TDSS killer. That was like in my previous video because we want to look for rootkits and um, we don't want those to come back up. So, all right. So you want to select the little arrow pointing down. So let's give it some time. All right. Save file. All right, so select it. All right, accept, accept, start. So any any files that uh, TDS finds, you basically want to remove it. We don't want any infections. Your your scam might not even find anything, but uh. Mine found a couple of them, so uh, I'm definitely going to remove these uh, infections that it finds. So let's just wait a little bit for the scan to go through. 
as you can see mine found actually 13 infections so um, go through it see if it's anything pertaining to applications that you use or any games and stuff because uh, that can mess it up but uh, I'm just gonna quarantine all of these because um, they're basically infections um, but make sure you go through it and make sure you know what you're um, you're blocking because uh, we're gonna quarantine these so I'm gonna select all and then I'm gonna hit continue your computer might say restart um, mine didn't because it depending on the infection you got so that's fine so let's go back to our browser alright we're gonna type google.com again now we're gonna do AdWord cleaner so type ADW cleaner and then we want it from bleeping computer let's select the arrow alright let's save the file alright hit OK on this so select that hit accept alright and then all you gotta do is hit scan This is actually a good program too. Uh, it gets some stuff that's in the background. If your browser's infected, it removes some extensions. Not all of them, but most of them. All right. So once this scan is done, we want to select the um, cleaning. All right. Uh, once you hit OK, your computer is going to restart. So restart your computer again, and now we're back from restarting. All right. Uh, there's a couple of things that we have to do uh, before we're totally finished. Um, let's go to add and remove program. So type in appwiz dot cpl and then hit enter, and then that brings up add and remove programs. So what you want to do is I like to change my stuff from install now, like install installed like the latest stuff and then remove them so all the you see all these stuff up top I'm going to start removing them from my add or remove programs because uh, these are all bogus applications that shouldn't be on here so that's removed I'm going to remove this one don't need it I download Malwarebytes I know that's legit so let's remove all applications we don't see Alright, I know. Yep, point that. Yes. Alright. So that's basically it. Alright, and then there's sometimes some icons left on your desktop, so just delete those, put them in a the recycle bin. Alright, so we're going to open up your browser. I'm going to open up Chrome right now. As you can see, this is still here. Uh, it's still infected. So what we want to do is we want to go to settings. Uh, we want to change our home page. So I'm going to type, of course, Google. So www.google.com. All right, OK. And then I'm going to change the home button. You see how it has that gibberish one. So let me erase all this. Change that. Type google.com. Okay, alright, and I just want to add one extension in, you know, uh, actually let's remove this extension, that shouldn't be here as well. Any other extensions that you see in there that shouldn't be in there, remove. And now I'm just going to add one of my favorite extensions, um, Adblock. I, I usually recommend this in all my videos, uh, so let me just add that. And you notice there when you see that little icon on the, the right there. So let's close these out. Close. So you know the home button's working. So let's try to open up Chrome again. As you see, it pops up. So usually if this happens, that means the taskbar link icon is defective. So I'm going to try this one up here. But you see how this goes to Google? So let's close this out. That means this one's defective. So I'm pinging this one and then drag that one down there and then click on it and then bam it's working now so if your Firefox or your Internet Explorer is doing the same thing do the same exact as well so 
Let's go to Yahoo, make sure I don't get no pop-ups. I'm just going to surf around. Go to CNET. No pop-ups. That's good. Let's go to Yahoo. I mean, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can search like virus removal. And as you can see, my videos up there. So let's go to my channel. Bam! No pop-ups in here. Looking nice and clean. And uh, we want to change our startup. So let's just disable all these things because you don't want you don't need all these applications in your startup as well. So let's remove those. And that's basically it. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, please like and subscribe. Um, you guys have a good day. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you.